Good evening everyone, this is Mr. Wolfie, and welcome to Alien Isolation, a survival horror game made by Sega by Creative Assembly, which is one of their better pr game developers, I personally think. Uh, now, I will say this, I tried to record this last night, or, well, yesterday morning, technically, I get off at midnight, but, and basically, the game recorded went fine. But when I went to review it, I'm so quiet. Like, I'm like background noise. Like, to the point where you don't even notice me. It's bad. So, I just did an audio test, so this time it should be fine. If it's not fine this time, it's an issue with the game and not with my mic or audio, which really sucks. But I should be fine. I should be good. I just tested it in a, a survival mode thing. But basically, the entire point of me telling you that is that I have experienced some of the game now. Before it was fresh, I had seen some stuff, but I have ne and I'd heard some stuff, but I never actually had played it. Now I've played. Uh, I I have no idea how much, but I I ha I didn't play up to where I saw the alien, but I had started unlocking some stuff. So hopefully this time it'll go a little bit better. Uh, so the downside is these first me I want to say it was three videos you might not see me get as scared as I was in the last one because I know what's gonna happen <laughs> so I'm gonna hop in I'm gonna start a game and just I'll screw my other playthrough because it's useless um, and I'm gonna put it on medium hards they want this is the only game I've met that wants you to play it on hard this is the recommended difficulty nightmares and my nightmares for the stupid people Though, uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe that'll be funny for y'all, me trying to do a nightmare playthrough. But I didn't want to do novice. I wanted to, y'all, to, you know, get the experience. So, I'm going to do medium. I think that's fair. Uh, now, I noticed in the video, this is much darker for y'all than it is for me, which I think is really weird. So, I'm actually going to bump it up, too. So, this is much brighter than for me than it should be for you if somehow that changes this is gonna look really stupid but here we go we are playing alien isolation and we're gonna have fun the sound of combat can summon the alien sometimes it's best to be quiet and cutscene time Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane. Lambert. Parker. Brett. Ash. And Captain Dallas. Are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. Gotta love that intro. That's nice. Ripley? I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. 
Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport. I facility. know what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? Gasp! I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrance if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. I have no idea what that little beep was. Because <laughs> it wasn't from the game, it was from something I'm doing? I'm in. Alrighty. So, for those of you who haven't seen this already, tell me this doesn't look absurdly accurate. Oh, they did such a good job with this game. They really did. I'm trying to make sure that my, I'm not breathing into my mic. Uh, oh, that was empty last time I checked there. Interesting. Or maybe they switched it. Maybe this one's empty. No, I get... Okay, well that's new, so apparently the loot is random. That's interesting. I approve. I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. Because Ripley has awoken. Alright, so it's time to go explore the torrents. Now, I've learned from my mistakes of the past. I need to not go this way yet. Did I go the wrong way? I did. Yeah, I need to turn around. My bad. I need to go this way first. But yeah, basically I'm going to get dressed and then I have to go talk to people. And last time I talked to the wrong person first. And somehow it glitched out my game. <laughs> la la la. La 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 la. There we go. See, I'm all squeaky clean now. Because don't you know, it's the future. The water just dries automatically. In seconds. And you get auto-dressed. It's fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and pull this up. I'm not going to read these first ones anymore, but you can go ahead and pause and read them if you want. Uh, actually, does this one read itself? No, it doesn't. But yeah, okay, so it's there. Oh, that's the wrong button. And it's there, so you can go read it if you want. Um, there's some neat little story stuff in there. This is the save points. And what's important is, I plug it in, okay, now I have to wait for a minute. And now I can save. And you can look around while you're doing that, because you might not be safe, and you can't use those to hide from danger. Just because there's a save point does not mean you are safe. Remember that, folks. I want to go this way. I genuinely have no idea what's this way. I think this is where I'm supposed to go. Yes, this is it first. Taylor, good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. I very much doubt it's morning. Well, not with that attitude. Sorry. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Raylan Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. 
If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. Y you know my mom's oh, gone, sorry. right? That was insensitive. Realize your mother has been missing for 15 years and, and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. I'll catch up with him. Alright, I wanted to wait until they were done talking to access the terminal. Alright, so there, this one's talking about the, oh, it's talking about the Nostromo. And this is the Torrens Manifest. I can scroll down on that. Alright, there we go. I actually don't think I read that the first time through. What is that? Oh, it's a chair. Okay, that's like the... F that's an odd-looking chair. Huh. Alright, anyway. Now, let's go find Samuels. Oh, and they haven't said it at any point in my playthrough. Uh, even the other one that is significantly further than this. Seeing as, you know, this is beginning. Wow, that was dumb of me. But... Anyway, they haven't confirmed it yet, but I'm like 99% sure that Samuels is an android. Like that dick from the movie. I mean, look at him. Look at that smiling mug. Ah, Ripley. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I wonder why. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities. A well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to the Nostromo. Yeah, yes. thanks for bringing it up, asshole. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor? Oh She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. We talked. <laughs> she seems nervous. Hmm. I hadn't noticed. <laughs> She's a skilled executive, though. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Should help Sorry. us with any legal issues we might encounter. I'm sorry, but guys, oh, he's creepy. All personnel to the bridge, approaching Sebastopol Station. Looks like we're up. I want to follow him to the bridge. But yeah, um, you gotta admit, just looking at this game, it feels very much like the movie. Like whether you think this game was good or not, there's no denying it looks good it looks accurate it sounds accurate from what I've noticed I could be wrong I could be horrifically wrong like ugh, ugh, a dream catcher how lame that can't be right hope you all had a restful journey the Torrens is in very good order for an old M-class captain she was a wreck when I bought her took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit no nice. she pays for herself now you said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? Okay, for a second Sebastopol I thought she was wearing cowboy boots. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how we doing? Awesome. G loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep con I want to see him. Hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. Yeah, so apparently it's somewhere out by this gas giant. I don't see it. Which, that's kind of lame. Can I walk? I bet... Oh, do we get back on this ship with the alien at some point? That would suck. Spaceships and aliens just are awful, awful combination. Let's get briefed. <laughs> Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. I can't see any of what they're talking about. Torrens out of St. Clair registration number MSV7760 calling Sebastopol traffic control. We're carrying three passengers on a whaling. Yutani Bond, you're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers port side over. <laughs> Hello, 
Marshall? Mar Marshall, this is the Torrin. Say again. How are we gonna get on there? The station's comm seem pretty screwed up, so I fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option. And it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Depressurizing. Oh, fuck. Hating this. Just shadow me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. Affirmative. Oh shit. Just keep moving. Taylor Ripley, hold on. Samuel! Taylor, respond! Anybody! Alrighty. Hopefully we're back in business shortly. Ripley is not a violent person, but will defend herself if she needs to. Well, Sigourney Weaver's gonna be disappointed. Her daughter's not a firecracker like she is. Is that offensive? <laughs> to call someone a firecracker? I don't think so. Come on. Up and at him. Alrighty. Oh, this looks awful. Oh, yeah, I forgot I have to get out of my suit. Alrighty, back in my sneakers. Sorry, I'm, I'm pleased with my sneakers. That I can't see when I crouch. Alrighty, let's go in. <gasps> oh no! <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> that was unnecessary. Gotta look for stuffs. Oh, that's terrifying. I will say this, this game does atmosphere so well. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I feel like I could still walk across that. Like, I feel like that's still a thing. But no, instead I get in the, the tiny vagina. Yeah, you'll see why. Look at it. Sphincter, not vagina. Sphincter. Sphincter? Oh, God, because this is exactly where you want to be in a space station that has a freaking xenomorph on it. Ugh.
Alrighty, I've had enough of that. I have had quite enough of that. Oh look, a bonding agent. How clever. Access and terminal. Give me a second to read that bit. Oh, that's all of it. Alright. Yeah, you want to read it? Give it a pause. I'll reread them when I get to something new. I will say this, when something painful happens in this game, it's, it looks God painful. Damn. This will help. Right, I want to make sure I explore everything. I want to remember that I need to come back here. Just in case. You never know, right? Oh, and look at that. Stuffs. So that's why we explore, children. Because things are important in life. We are the captain of our souls. We are the masters of our destiny. And you always know a working Joe. Words of wisdom. I like it. Not entirely sure what a working Joe is. I hadn't gotten that far in the game. Maybe that's what they call the androids. I don't know why you wouldn't just call them androids. But I guess we'll find out. Well, I guess we will find out. No music. We play in silence. Hello? Anyone here? Oh, this is fucked up. I don't like this. Though, this station is huge. Jesus. Alrighty, guys. Well, that is my alarm letting me know that time is up for this episode. So I'm just going to run up here. And I will continue. I'll let you know. I probably won't let you know in the video when I stop. But, um, yeah, basically, I'm just going to keep on playing until I'm exhausted <laughs> and stop. But for now, this is going to be the end of this video. This is Mr. Wolfie signing out.